The Real Meaning of Love Good morning, my ladies. How are you both today? I'm doing great. Thanks, Jack. Fine. Anyway, I have an announcement to make about my aunt. Hey, Jack. I'm really sorry, but I am preparing for a very important meeting today at my company. Can you tell me the news later? Just a few minutes. It's very urgent. Nothing is more urgent to me than my meeting right now. Maybe give me a call during the day. Sorry, see you later. Whatever. Alice. Alice. Yes? I need to tell you something. Oh, come on, Jack. That can wait. I also need to get going. Right now, you never leave the house before 11 a.m. What's happening? Well, I am happy to tell you that I have signed myself up for a yoga class. And I have to leave. Now. Bye-bye, Jack. What's wrong with these two today? This is really important. What a day! Alice, what do you want for dinner today? Oh, I don't know. Besides, I don't think there is anything left in the house. I already checked earlier. Oh my god! We need to go to the grocery store right now then! <laughs> Did you hear that? I think it's Jack. Yeah, probably, but I can also hear someone else's voice. Did he say anything about having friends over? Hello, everyone. Let me introduce you to my aunt. She just came here all the way from home. Auntie, this is Anne and Alice. Hello, young ladies. I hope I am not intruding. No, not at all. We are very happy to finally meet you. Jack has told us a lot about you. Would you like to sit? Hey, Jack! Jack! Why didn't you tell us that your aunt was coming today? Have you seen the house? I tried this morning, remember? You two were too busy for my news as far as I'm concerned. What? And you didn't think about calling? I told you to! I did! Check your phone! Both you and Alice didn't pick up. Anyway, not my fault. The house is very beautiful. Thank you, Auntie. But it is a bit messy at the moment. Normally, it's very clean and organized, but we have been busy lately. Please excuse us. Would you like a glass of wine? Sure. Wine would be great. Anne, we have no alcohol left, remember? Everything is gone and we needed to go shopping, but we didn't. I'm so sorry. It's all good. We are eating out today. That's fine, right, ladies? Yes, that's a great idea. Let's go now. Ahem. Maybe you should fix yourself up a little bit first, don't you think? Oh, yes. <laughs> Please give us a minute. Jack, may I have a word with you? Uh, yes, aunt? <gasps> Look at this. Maybe you should rethink living with these fine ladies. Oh. <laughs> Alice, are you free today? We really need to go grocery shopping. There's really nothing left to eat. Why the rush? I want to prepare a feast for Jack's aunt. Maybe invite Sharon and Peter over as well? Hmm, I don't know. I don't really feel like going out today. But I'll go with you on one condition. What is it? You let me borrow your red hat. Pretty please. Urgh! Fine! But do not lose it or make it dirty or else I'll be mad at you. Got it? Got you.
Good morning, everyone. What are you guys talking about? Morning! We are just talking about today's weather. It is pretty nice. We should go out. I already went out all day yesterday. Really? Where did you go? I went to the mall to do some shopping and walked around the local park. Hello, guys. Sorry to interrupt your conversation. I just want to say that I'm off to work now. Hey, Jack. Why don't you have breakfast first? I can't. I have an early appointment with my client. And there is going to be a lot of food for lunch, so don't worry, Auntie. You look really thin lately, Jack. You should pay attention to your health. Have at least three meals a day. Or is there something on your mind? I think you are not acting normally recently. It's okay, Aunt. We can talk about it later. I need to go. Jack, wait! Can I tag along as well? Uh, yeah, sure. Alice, remember we're going to the grocery store this afternoon, okay? Okay. See you guys! Alice, do you know if there's something going on with Jack? He makes me really worried. He didn't even have breakfast today. He's an adult now, Auntie. I'm sure he knows how to take care of himself. Besides, it's only one meal. Don't worry too much about it. But it's just not the meal. He seems unfocused and moody most of the time lately. Hmm. Sounds like a man in love. Maybe he actually is. Oh, I'd better go get that. Wait a minute. Who is this lovely lady? Hi, my name is Sharon. I live right next door. You must be... I'm Jack's aunt. Oh, nice to meet you. I hope you don't mind me being here. I'm close with everyone, so I come over a lot. Don't be silly. Make yourself at home. Thank you. Okay, aunt, Sharon, I need to go somewhere right now. Would you please excuse me? Oh, and Sharon, please keep auntie company, will you? Sure. See you later, Alice. Sharon, you are close with everyone, right? Do you know what's going on with Jack? He seems a bit down lately. Uh, um, hmm. I don't know. I don't talk to him much. I'm not sure. Sorry. Really? You must know something, right? Anything? No. I really don't. Please stop asking me about him. Okay, I'm sorry. Then what about you? You seem a little tense. Is there something wrong? Nothing to worry about. I can handle myself. Okay, good for you. But can I ask you something? Yes? You seem like a very trustworthy girl. Can I ask you to take care of Jack for me after I leave? I am worried about him. I'm not sure if I can do that. Why not? I already have a boyfriend. His name is Peter. We are engaged and living together right next door. I'm probably not the best person to care for Jack here. That's weird. You two are engaged? Yes, we are. Why are you surprised? Oh, honey, love brings you happiness. That's the real meaning of love, but you are different. You don't seem in love at all. There's no light in your eyes. Don't you see? Sharon moves to Japan or stays. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Hey, beauty. You look so good today. Do you want a big kiss from a handsome man like myself? 
<laughs> Give me a break, Peter. Have you gone crazy? What happened to you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am ecstatic over the moon. Wow, I have never seen you like this. Tell me why. Do you remember that famous director at my concert? Mmm, not really. What does he look like? Old, tall, a little bit grumpy. Ah, yes, I remember. What about him? Well, he wants to direct a musical play in Japan. Yeah, and? He wanted me to do an audition for it. And? Just spill it. I can't stand this anticipation. Okay, okay. I went to the audition this morning, and the director wants me to go to Japan for the performance. Whoa! Oh my god! Congratulations, Peter. This is big news. I always knew he would make it big with that amazing voice of yours. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Oh, but what about Sharon? What does Sharon think about this? How did she react? Actually, I haven't told her about it yet. I think she is too sensitive and moody. I need to wait for the right time to tell her. But don't worry about it. It's time to celebrate. Do you want to go dancing with me? Dancing? <laughs> you don't like dancing, do you? Oh, come on, just this once. Go get dressed up. I want to see you looking like a princess. <laughs> <laughs> what am I missing out on? You two seem excited. Alice, good timing. Do you want to join us for this celebration? I was chosen as the lead role and will be going to Japan for it. Oh, congrats, Peter. I'm so happy for you. But what about Sharon? Sharon, Sharon, Sharon. Why is everybody obsessed with Sharon? I am so ready for the trip, and I am sure she will be supportive and more than willing to come with me to Japan. Okay. Then when are you leaving? I'm not sure. Probably in two or three weeks. What? And you haven't even told Sharon? Oh, relax. It's time to party, isn't it? Sure. Hello, ladies. What have you been... Oh my god. Why are you two dressed up? That dress looks beautiful on you, Anne. The makeup makes you look older, Alice. But anyway, what's the occasion? Why are you guys putting in so much effort today? Peter just got chosen for a play in Japan, Jack. Isn't that exciting? Hmm. Does Sharon know about this? She doesn't, but according to Peter, she would be supportive and totally accepting of his decision to move to Japan. Wait. What? That's all he can say? How on earth would Sharon be able to agree with that? What is she going to do in Japan? Her whole life is here. Jack, who knows what she will do in Japan? But it's her and Peter's problem, isn't it? Why are you so worked up about it? Oops. I don't really care that much. But I just don't think Sharon is going to willingly agree to go to Japan with Peter. Well, that's just what you think. Sure, maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, there is no use wondering about it. Do you want to join us for Peter's celebration party? Oh, not really. Tell Peter I'm sorry, okay? But I don't feel like going out to celebrate tonight. Whatever, Jack. You don't know what you are missing. Goodbye. Bye, Jack. Bye.
When can I get an interview, sir? This Friday? All right, that works. Thank you so much, sir. Yes. Yes. I got it. See you Friday. Who was that? A potential employer. Why did you ask? Why are you so worried about finding a new job? Well, I don't want to work as a tour guide at the museum anymore, okay? Can we talk about us instead? Where were you last night? You didn't come home until 3 a.m. I went out with Anne and Alice. For what? Um, I got chosen as the lead role for a musical play in Japan. I met with the director for an audition recently. And I got picked. Too bad you weren't there to witness it. Everything was so amazing. The director shouted out about what a great job I did and told me this role was meant for me. I was so happy. I still am, actually. I'm really happy for you too, Peter. You should be happy for us both. Why so? Because we are going to Japan together. Build a new life. Just you wait. Only two or three more weeks to go. You're going with me, right, Sharon? To Japan? But... But how? This is a really big surprise. I never expected this. So what, Sharon? This is obviously a great opportunity for the two of us. Don't you see? There's nothing holding you back here. You can escape from that terrible job of yours. I know, I know. And I would love a change as well, but not this way. This is too sudden. I am really conflicted. Hello, love. What are you cooking? Smells delicious. You want a kiss? Stop it, Jack. What's wrong, Anne? Why have you been so cold to me lately? Nothing, Jack. It clearly cannot be nothing if you are acting like this. Tell me what's wrong. I know everything already, Jack. I saw a photo of you and Sharon. I was cleaning when it fell from your jacket pocket. I asked Sharon about it. Oh, did she say something? She told me you two used to be in a relationship. It's in the past, Anne. Do you still miss her now, though, Jack? <gasps> what about me, Jack? Who am I to you? I thought there was something special between us. I care about you a lot, Anne. I always think of you as a close friend, a good sister. I get it now. I'm so sorry. I don't want to hurt your feelings. It's okay, Jack. But don't forget that Sharon is moving to Japan with Peter soon anyway. Rules of Living Together Today, the house has a special guest, Kim, Anne's little sister. Find out what happens when Kim stays there and after she leaves as well. It may involve the falling of our favorite duo, Anne and Alice. Hello everyone! My name is Kim. I am Anne's little sister. I just flew here from Italy. Hi Kim. Anne told us a lot about you. My name is Jack. How was your flight? It was great. I slept through most of it, so I feel really energetic now. That's great. How is Italy? Is it as beautiful as we imagine it to be? My name is Alice, by the way. Nice to meet you, Alice. 
Italy is a very beautiful indeed. Everyone is really artistic, so the country feels alive. But what I love most about it though, is the food. You guys should really come and visit sometime. Did I just hear artistic? I am an artist myself, a musical actor to be at exact. Hi, my name is Peter. Oh, hi Peter. And you are? I am Sharon, Peter's girlfriend. Really nice to meet you, Kim. Me too. It feels so nice to finally meet everyone and speaks really highly of you guys. Aw, that's cute. Should we all go out to dinner tonight? I think we should welcome Kim to our group. Good idea. Oh my god, Alice, it has been an hour already. Can you hurry up and let me in? I need to go to work. Be patient, Jack. I need to finish my makeup first. Oh, please. Can't you do your makeup in your room? Hello, this is Jack. Oh, yes. I have heard about today's meeting. I am running a bit late today. Yes, I am really sorry about it. I will be there soon. Yes. Yes. I have already finished last week's task and I am working on our new deal today. Yes, thank you. See you at the office. Alice, are you still in there? Alice, come on. Alice! I am sorry. Oh, no, I am sorry. I really am. I thought you were Alice. I am in a rush this morning. Will you please excuse me? It's all right. Good luck with your work. Thank you. This dummy forgot his phone in the bathroom. Jack! He's already gone, Alice. Already? Oh well. Hello, people. Hey, Jack. What's up? Why do you look like a zombie? Today is the worst day of my life. I lost my phone, couldn't find it anywhere. Your phone? You left it at home, Jack. What do you mean? Yeah, you forgot it on the bathroom counter. Alice tried reaching your number at your workplace, but she couldn't. Oh, thank God. <laughs> hey guys, Peter invited us for dinner. He wants our help with convincing Sharon about Japan. Still hasn't agreed to go with him yet. Well, she should not have to go if she does not want to. Japan is an amazing country, don't you think so? No, I think there is nothing to do there. Are you kidding? There is so much to do in Japan. Yes, I agree. Even I want to go there with them. I visited Japan when I was 15 and it was so much fun. I bet it can only be better now. Why are you so against it, Jack? You know what? I don't think I'll be able to join you guys for dinner. I am exhausted. Please tell Peter and Sharon I said hello. Hey, Alice. Where is Anne? This parcel is for her. I don't know. What is this, Peter? Don't do that, Alice. It might be fragile, so don't shake it too hard. Fragile? Oh, I know. It must be the set of Chinese porcelain that Anne saved up her points for. Really? That's cool. All right, Alice. I have to go now. See you later. Okay. See you later. I knew it! Anne! 
Guess what arrived at our house? What? It's your set of Chinese porcelain. Are you excited? Have you already opened it, Alice? Yes, I couldn't help being curious. Sorry, Anne. Oops. What was that, Alice? Um, I accidentally broke one of the dishes. I swear I didn't mean to. I am so sorry. Alice, how could you? Don't you dare touch the set anymore. Put it away and wait until I get home, please. Okay. Be careful, Jack. You don't want to drop that box. It's Anne's porcelain set. She's already mad because I broke one of the dishes. I'm so dead. You're really dead, Alice. What are you going to do? Well, just accept it, I guess. I don't think she can be mad for too long. But you know her, Alice. If she is angry, she will not cook for us anymore. And we... You and me suck at cooking. Oh, I forgot about that. I'm so sorry. Well, then learn how to cook and prepare a feast for dinner, Alice. Maybe she will be less mad when she sees it. Learn now? I don't think I'll make it. Anne is going to be home in an hour. Do you have any other ideas then? Huh? <gasps> What about this? We go out and buy food, then pretend that we cooked it ourselves. She'll be so happy that we cooked for her and totally forget about the broken dish. Not a bad idea at all. Well, let's go get it. <clears throat> Hi, Anne. What's that on your hand? Hi everyone! Listen, we need some rules in this house. We need rules if we live together. I forgot them in the beginning. But now I will put down some. I spent time listing out a few things that everyone should adhere to. That includes you, Sharon. Nobody can leave this room without understanding and remembering all these rules. Do we really have to do this? She's right, Jack. Please continue our dear Anne. Do not dear me. Listen. Number one, from now on you can never, never ever open my parcels. Number two, clean the house twice a week. Number three, we take turns doing number two. Number four. Okay, okay, Anne. We understand that you are angry. Yes, I am very angry. Do you know how much time I spent waiting for that set? I saved up my points for a whole year, ate the same cookies over and over again for it, and then what? Please forgive me. Just tell me where to get one. I'll buy you a new set, okay? It's impossible! It's handmade in Shanghai and incredibly expensive. You know that? Okay, Anne, just sit down first. I'm sure you had a long day. Jack and I prepared dinner for you, and you don't have to do anything. That's right. What? You made me dinner? For real? Yes, that's the least we can do for you, Anne. Oh. Oh, I guess I can forgive you this time, then. Friends and Lovers Is Alice's birthday the only eventful occasion this week? Or is there something else? Watch to find out. Sharon! Alice's birthday is today. Should we go over the plan once again? Yes, that would be nice. We are doing a surprise party, right? I think that would be really exciting. I agree! So let's first start with the guest list. We're already invited Tom, David, Mary. What about Mr. Alex? 
He has always been busy as a director and hasn't spent much time with her. I think they are not on very good terms with each other. Why don't we invite him so they can mend their relationship with each other? I already reached out to him, though. He said he wasn't sure if he could make it. Oh, well, let's talk about the cake, then. What cake did we get for her? Chocolate is her favorite, so we got a two-tier chocolate cake. Sounds good. Peter ordered it, right? The bakery he orders from is so good. That's nice. What about Jack? What did he agree to help with? I think he agreed to buy some balloons and decorations. Okay. So we only have to buy her gifts now, right? Yes. What do you think would make a good present? She borrowed my hat last time, so maybe something like that? Good enough. Let's get that for her. <gasps> Hello, you two. What are you doing here? Am I missing out on something? Oh, it's nothing. By the way, happy birthday to you, Alice. Thank you so much, Anne. Happy birthday to you. Thank you, Sharon. Well, have you got any plans to celebrate your birthday tonight, Alice? I was thinking I could spend it with you guys. What do you think? Oh, I'm so sorry. Jack said he already had plans for tonight and he couldn't get himself out of them. I also have a meeting with my clients scheduled since last week. Oh, really? That's so sad. What about you, Sharon? Are you free tonight? I promised to go to the musical theater with Peter already. I am really sorry for not being able to stay. What a shame. Welcome to my birthday party, everyone! Oh, I forgot. No one is home tonight. It's such a shame. I wanted this birthday to be special. I have always had to spend it alone. Oh, what? What happens? <gasps> Surprise! Happy birthday to you, Alice! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, to you. Happy birthday dear you. Alice! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you, Alice! Oh my god, what a surprise! Thank you so much, everyone! I thought you guys all had your own plans! How did I not know? Come on, Alice. We wouldn't miss it for the world. You are like family to us. Ah, thank you so much. I love you guys. We love you, too. Now, make a wish! Wait! Don't blow out the candles yet! We have a bigger surprise for you! Please, pay attention! You can come out now! Everyone, welcome Mr. Alex! Dad? Dad, why are you here? Why... It's my little girl's birthday. Of course I am here. Happy birthday, honey! Oh, this is so emotional. Thank you, Dad. I love you. I love you too, honey. By the way, I thought you would enjoy a vacation with me next month. I am filming a movie at a beach site, and I would love for you to come along. I will pay for everything. You are the best, Dad. We hope you are happy with this party. We started planning this morning, and we're in a rush. I love it. Thank you guys again. I propose a toast. Give it up for our youngest but most caring, sometimes annoying, but still very lovable little sister. Cheers! Cheers. Let's open your presents, Alice. Oh, there are presents? Let's see if you guys really know me. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, hi, Jack. Do you know where Anne is right now? I am looking for her. No, I have not seen her this entire morning. Is there something important? Not really. Well, I will come back later then. See you, Jack. Actually, do you want to sit down, Sharon? I want to talk to you. Um... Okay. What's up with you lately? You don't look so happy. It's nothing, Jack. I'm perfectly fine. Sharon, I have known you for ten years, more or less. Do you think I would be fooled by that? <sighs> what do you want from me, Jack? Actually, you know what? Let me get straight to the point. I don't think it's a good idea for you to move to Japan with Peter. Your life is here, Sharon. Your job, your friends, your family, and me as well. I still have feelings for you. I have always loved you, Sharon. I know you still have feelings for me too, but you were just in denial. What can I do then? Tell me! Tell Peter everything, Sharon. Tell him that you will not go to Japan with him. Break up with him. Why can't you just leave me alone, Jack? Why do you have to make it this hard? All he ever cares about is his job. He does not care for you, Sharon. Don't you see that? I am not like that. I will always be by your side, no matter what. Please don't ignore my feelings and yours like this anymore. Really? Will you always be by my side? Of course, Sharon. I am always here for you, right? Whenever you need me, I am right here. Just break up with Peter and we can be together. <sighs> I don't know, Jack. I wish things are as simple as that. They are what you make of them, Sharon. I know you know this is the right thing to do. <gasps> What is going on here? Why are you holding my girlfriend's hand? It is not what you think it is, Peter. Oh, please. It is exactly what I think it is. Can we talk about this at home, please? How about no? I am not going anywhere. You two have some explaining to do. A Bittersweet Split the end of one relationship is the beginning of another, but is it really the end for Peter and Sharon? What is going on here? Why are you holding my girlfriend's hand? It is not what you think it is, Peter. Oh, please, it is exactly what I think it is. Can we talk about this at home, please? How about no? I am not going anywhere. You two have some explaining to do. Peter, I think you should calm down. Calm down? You are telling me to calm down right now? I need answers, Jack. I need them right now. What answers do you want, Peter? Please, can you two stop? Seriously, stop! Why are you two acting like kids right now? Jack, can I have a word with you outside? I am not going anywhere. You are going with me whether you like it or not. Peter and Sharon need space to talk. So... Are you going to tell me what that was about? Well, I am going to be honest with you. Jack and I have known each other for a very long time. We met in college and we were actually in a relationship for a while. What? So that is why Jack moved here? Why are you only telling me this now? No, both Jack and I didn't know. It was just a coincidence. Coincidence? Really, do you think I would believe it was just a coincidence? Okay, Peter, I admit that I still have some feelings left for Jack. 
but I swear this is all just a coincidence. There has been nothing between me and Jack since he moved in. Since when, Sharon? Since when have you started lying to me like this? I am not lying to you, Peter. I never have. You dare blame me when you are part of the reason as well? Oh, so now you are blaming me. Is it my fault that your college sweetheart moved here? No, I don't mean that, Peter. I am saying that you have been neglecting me. All you ever know is work, eat, and sleep in the theater. You don't care about me anymore. What? Peter, I think we both want different things at the moment. Tell you what, I interviewed for a job opening at an upcoming gallery, and I got it. I love this job. Do you get it? What are you trying to say, Sharon? What I am trying to say is that I want to stay here. Can you not go to Japan and stay here with me, Peter? What kind of question is that? Answer me, Peter. Can you do that? It is very important to me. I have already accepted the job offer. Did you accept it without telling me? Why did you do that? And did you ask me about auditioning for Japan? Can you please stay here with me, Peter? I... I can't, Sharon. This is a really big step in my career. I can't miss it. You see, Peter, I was right. There is nothing more important to you than your career. I always knew it. Now that no one is here, can I ask you something, Anne? What is it, Jack? Are you still mad at me? Not really. It's hard to forget you just like that, but I am trying. If you would come into my life at a different time, before Sharon, maybe then we could have had a chance at being together. You are really an amazing woman. Thanks, Jack. I am truly happy for you and Sharon. After so much time apart, you two are finally going to get each other back. I hope you two will have a happy ending. Oh, I am not getting ahead of myself. This is only the start. Sharon just broke up with Peter, and we are both still very unsure. It's okay. Just keep it natural. If Alice were here, she would say that. Oh. Alice, I miss her jokes and pranks. I know, right? She always has something to say and knows how to make everyone laugh. I miss everybody. Even Peter in his practicing voice. <laughs> but it was so terrible that our eardrums almost exploded. I know, but I'm used to living like that. By the way, how are things between you and Peter? We had a long conversation. He said it wasn't entirely my fault. He realized he was too focused on work and ignored Sharon's feelings and needs. Meanwhile, I was always there for her instead of him. I guess it's for the best. Anyway, it's quite late. I should get going. Oh, I'm going to see a movie with Sharon tonight. Do you want to join? No, thank you. I... I have some stuff to do. Just come. This movie was just released. I really want to, but I can't. I already have other plans. Okay, then. See you around. Bye, Anne. Goodbye, Jack. Sharon, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. Go ahead. I am done with my work. Tell me what's on your mind. I am listening. I'm sure that you have thought it through. I really have. I did neglect you, Sharon. And I am incredibly sorry for that. I fully understand if you don't want to come with me. Don't worry about me, Peter. Just focus on your upcoming musical performance. Life in Japan will be great. I just can't imagine life without you, Sharon. Oh, it's going to be fine. 
Your voice is amazing, and this move will be really beneficial for your career. I believe in you, Peter. Thank you. Well, I just want you to know that this really is not an easy decision for me to make. But I am sure that it is right for your career, and I can't be the one holding you back right now. I am going to become famous and earn so much money that I can buy my own airplane and fly you out every weekend. That is going to cost a lot of petrol. Well, I will be rich by then. Who cares how much it costs? Okay. I will wait until you are rich. But in the meantime, I will still visit you. Maybe together with Anne. I am sure you will have already forgotten me by the time you are famous, though. How can I, Sharon? I will never forget you. Oh, can I ask something from you? What is it? Can I have the pictures we took together in Japan last time? I want to hang them on the walls when I arrive at my place in Japan. Every time I miss you, I will look at them. They will help me a lot, especially in the beginning. Sure, take them. I am very glad that you still think so highly of me. Of course. Do your best, Peter. I will miss you. I will miss you, too. See you, Sharon. I'm going to pack my bags now. Surprise after surprise. Love is in the air. But is it for Sharon and Jack or another couple? Watch to find out. One month later. Oh my god! What a mess! I need to get this house cleaned up. Huh? <gasps> what is this? A letter? From Sharon? What is going on? Dear Anne, I am writing this letter to tell you that I have moved to another city. There is an open position at another location of the gallery I am working for, and I have agreed to move there. I am really sorry that I have not told you this beforehand. Please forgive me. I realized that things between Jack and me were just temporary. I still miss Peter and the memories I have with him very much. I need time and space to think. Again, I am really sorry for the sudden news. Yours truly, Sharon. Hmm. I wonder what happened between her and Jack. Show me where the money is or I'll kill you. Okay, okay. Y you can take whatever you want. I won't tell anyone. Please spare me. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Jack, what are you doing? Do you have a death wish? Get your hands off me. Whoa, chill out. I am just joking. What's wrong with you? You don't seem too happy. Yes, I'm really not happy right now. Do not mess with me. By the way, what happened between you and Sharon? Nothing. Nothing? Are you sure? I think you are hiding something. Can we please not talk about her right now? I'm not really in the mood for it. Hmm. Okay. So what is up with the house, Jack? What about it? I think it is perfectly fine the way it is. Fine? How is this fine? I can hardly find a place to stand. Your clothes are everywhere. And it smells so bad. What is that smell? Did you not bring out the trash? Okay, okay. I was a bit lazy when you were gone, okay? We can clean it together now, right? Don't be so mad. Whatever, Jack. All right. Let's start cleaning the living room first. Then we can move on to the kitchen. How about you clean up this mess yourself? It is your fault, after all. Oh, come on. I know you adore me. Please give me a hand. Pretty please. Ugh, fine. One last time. You got it? Yes, ma'am. You are the best. <laughs>
Jack, Alice is calling. Hello, Anne. Do you miss me? Alice, you little rascal. When are you coming back? <laughs> Why, you miss me, right? I know it. Anyway, I'm coming back tonight, actually, and I have a big surprise for everyone. What surprise, Alice? Why didn't you say anything about it? I haven't prepared anything. No need to prepare anything. You will see. Just wait. Don't be so impatient. Why do I have a bad feeling about this? You are being overdramatic, Anne. You will love this surprise. See you later. See you, Alice. All right. All that cleaning for what? Nothing. Why so? Alice is coming back. She is going to trash the house anyway. <laughs> she is not that bad. Well, you are right. Anyway, she also said she was bringing home a surprise. What surprise? Who knows? Would it be a surprise if I already knew? Okay, we can wait for it then. Hi, everyone! Alice, so this is the surprise you told me about? Who is he? Yes, isn't he great? Come, I will introduce him to you. Edward, say hello to Anne. Anne, this is Edward. He is going to stay here with us from now on. What? I mean, nice to meet you. How do you know our lovely Alice? Nice to meet you too. I met her in Italy, and we have been friends ever since. She also told me a lot about you. <laughs> really? That's nice of you, Alice. So, where are you from, Edward? I am from Canada. Cool. What about your job? Oh, I am a director, just like Alice's dad. I see. Well, make yourself at home, Edward. Do you mind if I have a word with Alice privately? No problem. Alice, you didn't tell me that he was going to move in here. Oh, I knew you wouldn't have any problems with it. Besides, he is such a great person. You will love him when you get to know him better. But still... Still what? I know you wouldn't refuse anyway. We have enough space in the house, don't we? We do, but you still should have asked Jack and me before bringing someone new home, Alice. Okay, I know. I'm sorry, all right? I will remember to do that next time. There is going to be a next time? You never know! What are you doing, Edward? Are you filming me? Yes, now smile. Smile for the camera, Anne. Would you please stop that? I do not agree to this. You are invading my personal space. You are doing so great, Anne. You can actually be an actress with that expression. Just stop! Alice! Alice! Where are you? Come over here now! What's up, sis? Why so noisy? Can you please tell your friend to stop filming me? I am getting really annoyed. Oh, come on. He just loves his job so much. Don't you, Edward? Besides, you look great, Anne. Alice, I need you to tell him to stop. All right, Mr. Director, you can stop working now and take a break. You don't want to mess with Anne. Okay. Uh, Alice, come see this. This is really great, Anne. What if this footage gets aired on television and you become famous? Don't you forget me then. I can be your personal assistant if you want. Looking like that? I don't think so, Alice. Edward, please don't do something like that again. I will not condone to that behavior in this household.
Anne has a crush on Edward. Just when things between Alice and Edward are going great, a third person intervenes. And that person is Anne? Hmm. What are you doing? Cooking? What is going on? You never cook. Take a seat, Anne. I will bring the food over right away. Okay. Tell me what is up. You're acting really strange. Well, I just wanted to ask you about Edward. What do you think about him? <laughs> Are you asking for my approval right now? He has you wrapped around his little finger, doesn't he? And don't you dare deny it. You never asked me about Tom or Martin. All right, maybe a little bit. I just feel really happy whenever he is around. So, regardless of my opinion, what do you think about him, Alice? And him as well, what does he think about you? I am not really sure yet. Right now we are still friends. I think he is a bit too focused on work, though. He does not pay much attention to anything else. Hmm, I'm not sure if I should say this. But I don't have a good feeling about him. Do you think he would have enough time to care for you? Being a director and all? I don't know, but we can always try. Look at your dad, Alice. You two don't seem to get along well since he is always going away for work, right? No, Edward is different. I can feel it. Even if he is busy, I can totally understand and get used to it. Yeah, it's just my personal opinion. If your relationship is strong enough, nothing can come in between. Okay, so I need to put this in this bowl and Alice. pack in an egg. Alice! Alice! You hear me? Yes, sorry. I'm really focused right now. Are you okay? What are you doing? I'm just preparing a small French-style lunch for Edward. Why so? Is he not Canadian? Yes, but his mom is French. So I thought he would appreciate some familiar dishes. He must feel so homesick being here. I can't believe my eyes anymore! It is like you're a new person! Love really does that to you, huh? Look, I'm going to include this message to confess my feelings for him. What do you think? It is very romantic, Alice. I'm sure it will warm his heart and he will fall right into your arms. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Give me a minute. Someone is calling. Hello. Yes, I'm Alice. Really? Can I pick it up tonight? You are closing soon? All right, I will try to make it on time. Hmm, apparently there is a package waiting for me at the post office. They are closing in 30 minutes, though. Can I borrow your car? Car? No way! You don't have a license yet! Oh, please. I really need to get there fast. I promise I will not do any damage to it. Okay, I guess. Drive safe. Thanks. Please tell Edward I will be back in a few minutes, will you? What about this mess? Oh my god, she's already gone. The food isn't even done yet. Okay, calm down, Anne. You can do this. Food? Check. The romantic message? Check. There, all done. Beautiful. I wonder why I always get myself into these kinds of situations. This was Alice's idea. She should have been the one doing all the work. Hey, Anne. What are you doing? Nothing. Uh... 
Have a good lunch, Edward. You might want to prepare yourself for a big surprise. Ooh, these dishes look good. And smell good, too. I must say you are not a terrible cook. Oh, it is not what you're thinking. I did not cook these. Really? Then who else? Be patient. You will see. By the way, Alice just went out and she said she would be back in a bit. I need to leave for a meeting right now. Goodbye, Edward. Oh, okay. Uh, bye. What was that? Anyway, I am starving. Let me try some of this food. Ooh, this is quite good. It kind of tastes like my mom's cooking. Not bad at all. To the guy who makes my heart melt. What? Who wrote this? Is this a prank? Focus, Edward. Think. Okay, so Anne set up this table. She must be the one who wrote this then? I'm so confused. So I am filming myself because I am going through a weird situation right now. Anne, my housemate, just left me this message. It might not be her, but she set this table up, so who else can it be, right? I am unsure because she is normally really shy. She got really annoyed the last time I filmed her without her permission. Anyway, I find this so cute of her. Very interesting indeed. But I also am confused about what to do, because this has never happened to me before. Help! Give me some suggestions. Should I ask her out on a date or something? Mm. Can you turn the camera off? I'm not comfortable being filmed. Edward! Edward, excuse me, why are you looking at me like that? No nothing, sorry. I am just a bit tired. Whatever. See you later. Remember, wait for Alice. Oh, I, I will see you later, Anne. Okay. So, that was her? Did you guys hear that? She acted as nothing happened. My little shy girl, Anne. How interesting. I'm pretty sure she has feelings for me by now. She definitely does. Or else she would not act like that. What should I do now? Should I ask her about it? No. I should wait and see what she is going to do next, right? I need some time to think right now. I will keep you guys updated. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel so you do not miss any new videos. A date gone wrong. Will a terrible mistake lead to the end of a loving friendship? Let's watch today's video to continue following the love story of Edward, Alice, and Anne. Jack, uh, wait up. Can I ask you for some advice? Sure. What do you need advice on? There is this girl who secretly confessed her feelings to me through a piece of paper. I don't really know what to do right now. Talking about girls, aren't we? Well, I am happy to inform you that you have asked the right person. I'm an expert in love-related matters. Haha, <laughs> sure, man. Anyway, she even acted as nothing happened afterward. I didn't expect it at all. But I realized that I am also quite interested in her the moment I saw her confession. What should I do? First of all, she wrote her confession down on a piece of paper, yes? Yes, that's right. With a delicious homemade lunch as well. It was so cute. Hmm, so she must like that kind of thing. You know, being secretive and all? Why don't you do the same to her? I don't understand. How do I do that exactly? You are really clueless, aren't you? Let's see. You must act mysterious. For example, you can send her a handwritten message yourself. Surprise her. Invite her out for dinner or ask her to go see a movie with you. 
Sing her a song. Oh, buy her roses. Girls are definitely into that. Hmm, that makes sense. But do you think that might be too cheesy? Cheesy? That is exactly what is going to win her over, man. You just gotta do it. Hmm. I am not quite sure if that is the case with this one. But thank you for the advice. I really appreciate it. No problem. Let me know if you need anything else. Remember, I am an expert in this. <laughs> yes, I will remember that. Thank you. Flowers, check. I should put it here on this table. The camera is set up. The card next to the flowers. Awesome. All good. Hmm. I wonder if Anne would like this. Ah, let's just give it a go. Dear Anne, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. My lovely Anne, would you be willing to join me tomorrow night to hang out? I will be waiting for you in the living room when everyone is asleep. There will only be the two of us, from your secret admirer. Okay, this should do it. Jack is at the gym and won't be home for another two hours. Alice is out somewhere. Anne is going to be home the earliest, so she should be the one getting this message. Perfect! Hello? Is there anybody home? Oh, I need to go. Anyway, what was I talking about? Yes, sure, see you then. Why suddenly someone in this house likes flowers? What is this, a card? Oh, wow, this is for me? Dear Anne, roses are red, violets are blue, sugar is sweet, and so are you. My lovely Anne, would you be willing to join me tomorrow night to hang out? I will be waiting for you in the living room when everyone is asleep. There will only be the two of us, from your secret admirer. Tomorrow night, huh? Ah, this is so sweet. The poem is really cute, too. Hmm, but who wrote this? Can it be Jack? No way, probably not, but who else can it be then? A stranger? It must be Jack then. Oh my god! I can't believe this. He finally changed his mind. I'm so happy. <laughs> Hello, Anne. Hello, my lovely little sister. What made you so happy, Anne? You seem really excited today. Oh yes, I am very happy indeed. I got a surprise. It was so romantic. You won't believe it if I told you. Then tell me. No, I want to keep it a secret for now. You are so lame. <laughs> I just wanted to be sure first. Okay, Alice, but I promise I will tell you soon. Whatever. Love you. By the way, how are things going between you and Edward? Any update? <sighs> Anne, I regret giving him that card so much. What happened? Nothing. That is the problem. He is acting like nothing ever happened, like he did not read it. What if he didn't? No, I'm sure he did. I looked for the note afterward, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Well, did you ask him about it? Yes, I asked him about lunch. He only said he was really happy with it and nothing else. Can you believe it? Hmm, maybe he needs to focus on something else right now? Either that or he really doesn't like me. <sighs> I guess I just need to accept it. Don't be so discouraged. I think you should tell him directly. It is better that way. You can convey your emotions to him and show him that you are really sincere. Maybe that is better than a card, you know? What if he likes you but does not like the way you confess your feelings? No way in hell. That is so stupid and embarrassing. I will never do that. Up to you. Is someone here? Why is it so dark? 
Anne, my girl, I am so glad that you came. Can you follow my voice? Hmm. Why do you sound strange today? You do not sound like yourself. What do you mean? Maybe because I am joined by the most beautiful girl in the world today? Aww, I have waited for this moment since forever. You don't know how much I want this. You don't have to wait anymore, baby. Come here with me. This is amazing. Can we light up the candles? I want to see your handsome face. Of course. Let me do it for you. I don't want you to harm those beautiful hands. Huh? <gasps> oh my god, what? What are you doing here, Edward? Where is Jack? Jack? You agreed to this date, didn't you? You forgot about it? It is our first date. How can you? What are you talking about, Edward? A date? I agreed to nothing like that. Answer me, where is Jack? I don't know. In his room? Why are you asking about him right now? It is supposed to be just between you and me. Between me and you? Oh my god! Are you listening to yourself right now? There is nothing between us! <sighs> Hey, am I interrupting something? Anne? Edward? A happy mistake. Life is not perfect. Mistakes happen. So the most important thing is how you choose to deal with it. Let's watch today's video to see how Anne will handle this case. What is this, Anne? Edward? What is going on right now? Alice, let me explain. No need, Anne. I get it now. Thank you very much. But... But what, Anne? Such an amazing friend you are. I can't believe this. No, Alice. You do not understand. It is not what you think it is. I do not understand. The only thing that I do not understand is how stupid I was. I told you everything for you to go behind my back like this? It really is not what you think it is. I am not thinking anything. It is right before my eyes already. Isn't it obvious enough? Okay, let me explain first. I honestly thought this was a Jake with Jack. Not him. Jack. What are you talking about, Jack? What does he have to do with this when you gave me the secret card? Oh my god, that card is mine. My confession. How could you think it was from Anne? So the poem and flowers were all from you? What the hell, Edward? I am so sorry. This is a terrible mistake. Yes, well, it already happened. Hey, Anne, have you seen this? Peter is really popular now. The play became really famous. I have already read it. Not really in the mood right now. Can you leave me alone for a bit? Um, sure. Let me know if you need anything. Thanks. Alice, have you seen this article about Pete? No, Jack, I don't want to do anything at the moment. I will have a look later. Okay. Edward, my man, do you remember Peter, our old neighbor that I told you about? There is an article written about him. Do you want to see it? Thank you, but no. Not a good time, Jack. Sorry. Maybe later. Okay, guys. This is really strange. Can you tell me what happened? You three are looking like zombies right now. It is all because of your advice, Jack. Thank you so much. What? Hey, where are you going? Why is he being mad? This doesn't make any sense. I should be the one being mad. Everything is so stupid. 
Okay, I only have you left, Alice. Can you please tell me what is going on? It's a long story, Jack. Sit down. I will tell you. <sighs> so, I confessed my feelings to Edward. You? So you were the girl he talked about? Not exactly. So I confessed to him by cooking him lunch coupled with a handwritten card. Yes, a card. That is what he told me as well. But he didn't know it was from me. What do you mean? He thought it was from Anne. Oh my, what about Anne? What did she do? Well, Edward responded to that message, but Anne thought it was you who did. I see. I will go talk to her. Be careful, Jack. She seems really irritable at the moment. Anne. Anne, listen to me, please. What, Jack? I have something to tell you. I told you I am not in the mood right now. I don't want to hear anything. You are planning to make a joke out of me, aren't you? No, Anne. I don't want to hear it, Jack. Please don't say anything about what happened. That's not my intention. I understand it was just a mistake, Anne. And you just got caught up in the middle of it all. It was not your fault. You really think so? Yes, and since we are already here, let me tell you something that I have kept inside for so long. Go ahead. Well, I've thought about us for a while now. What about us? You know, our relationship. I can feel my feelings for you grow every day, Anne. Are you kidding me right now? What kind of relationship are you talking about? Friendship or siblings? You don't get it. I really mean it. Can you just give me one minute? Sure, Jack. Get it out of the way. Since Sharon left, I have been feeling really empty. But I realized that it was not because of Sharon, but because of you. The distance really made me understand how much I need you, Anne. I really want to be by your side. Can you please be my girlfriend? What? No! I don't get what you are saying right now. I really mean it, Anne. After what happened with Edward, I don't think I should delay this any longer. If anyone comes and sweeps you off your feet before me, I will regret it for the rest of my life. Hmm... I understand, Anne. You don't have to give me an answer right now. I will give you some time and space to think about it, okay? Talk to you later. Wait, Jack! Yes! What? Yes! I will be your girlfriend! Alice? Edward? Jack and I have something to tell you guys. What is it, Anne? Why are you two smiling? Well, after this event this morning, something else happened. Uh-huh. What, exactly? Jack confessed his feelings for me. You did what, Jack? <laughs> yes, I told Anne about my feelings for her and I asked her to be my girlfriend. And what did you do? Tell me now. I agreed, of course. Do you know how long I had been waiting for this? I know. Well, congratulations to you guys. I am so happy for you. Mmm, congrats. Thank you both so much. He wanted to keep it private, but thought it was impossible with us being housemates and all. <laughs> you are right. Well... I propose a toast to celebrate the union of two of my favorite people. Cheers to us! To us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.